Hey everybody, Doug Prey did it again. Super cool 1936 Bentley barn find found in the old oil district of Tulsa. This car is so cool. We have three videos coming on it. The video where Doug talks about the car and how he found it. We've got another video coming up about where they did to get it running. And we've got a third video because there is so much documentation on this car. It is heading to Barrett Jackson in Palm Beach here very shortly. Stay tuned. Be sure to catch those other two videos as we feed them out. You won't want to miss it. This is a super cool car. Well, we're back here at the Auburn Court Duesenberg Company. I love coming here. Love seeing our good friend Doug Prey. You guys always have amazing stuff around here. Just outstanding. Well, today it's a little different. Today is a little different. Us. Yes. yes. <laughs> and and you're kind of on a roll. Yeah. I mean, you know, we just showed everybody the Duesenberg, and now you've got another car that you found buried in a garage that's been sitting there for 50 years. Yeah. Yeah, how does that happen? I, I don't know. And it's a pretty amazing yeah. car, too. Yeah, twice in the same year. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're on a roll here, yeah, buddy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, well, what do we got now? Okay, well, what we've got, now we are the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Company, so we specialize in Auburn Cords and Duesenbergs. Not that we don't have other cars and we don't take other cars in on trade or even work on other cars, but mainly our niche is Auburn Cord Duesenberg. We've been here now 63 years doing, essentially, Auburn Cords and Duesenberg. <laughs> well, we had a gentleman right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which Tulsa was known as the oil capital of the world. A lot of oil money back in the days, in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. And there was a lot of people with very expensive cars. Well, we located a gentleman who lived in Midtown Tulsa, an old oil money part of town. He, he had a Bentley in his one car garage, and it had been there for 50 years. It was never for sale. Well, he passed away. So a friend of mine said, hey, I want to buy the car. He'd never seen it outside of this little tiny garage. <laughs> had flat tires on it. The wheels were kind of bad. And he asked us to help. Well, we were able to look at the car, make a deal, pull the car out of this one-car garage. We had to totally redo the wheels. We put new tires on it, and we brought it out here and just simply cleaned it up. And it's a 1936 Bentley, of course, a right-hand drive. It's called a drop-head coupe uh, by this particular coach builder, from what I understand, Park Ward built 150 of these. We've even got its original records came with it of the day it was delivered and delivered to the coach builder and then who he sold it to and even the address in London where it went. We have all its original paperwork all the way back to its original dyno uh, report showing how many horsepower it had. I can even tell you what its oil pressure was in 1936. So this car, it's all matching numbers in every way. Bentley kept really good records. And we ended up with this car that has sat and just got dirty and was full of mud daubers. We cleaned it up and Bill Martin, my, one of my main technicians on these old cars, was able to get it running in literally one day. And we can actually drive it out of the shop. We drove it out of the shop this morning for the first time. And in 50 years, it's actually moved. The brakes worked. All the instruments worked. Oil pressure was perfect. Sounds absolutely great. And so we've got a great piece of history. It was literally right down the street, 15 miles from me, in the middle <laughs> of Tulsa. There it was. And we've saved it and brought it out. And here it is. Now, one other thing about this car, the Duesenberg already had a buyer before immediately as soon as you found it this car is available this car is since we are not bentley people uh so i don't particularly have bentley customers but we joined the bentley club we learned a lot about the bentley found out how very desirable and collectible it is and especially one in this condition i of all the cars i've ever done in my entire life i've never seen a car so complete and original I mean, every nut, bolt, and screw is still original. Even the original air cleaners on it, the original fire extinguishers there, the original jack, the original tools. I mean, this car is complete. The top goes up and down just perfectly. The old original leather, it's really, you know, it's cracked and it's old, but it's, I mean, it's original. This car is absolutely, the again, the most incredible original car that runs perfectly where we we even we looked at the odometer it's in kilometers and i think it's got twenty two thousand kilometers so what would that be 15 16,000 miles I don't know for sure but we think this car only has 15 or sixteen thousand original miles on it 
when it started up for the first time in 50 years, it doesn't smoke, it sounds good. We had to clean the SU carburetors and we've got to clean the fuel tank on it still. But with the new tires on it, she drives down the street, right hand drive, and what is unique with this right hand drive car, it is unique to me, the shifter is on the right. And any other right hand drive car we've had, like Auburn Concord and Duesenberg's also built right hand drive ones for European usage. Shifter was always still on the left in the center. And this car isn't, it's on the right and a fancy mechanism to make that work. But what an incredible Oh amazing piece of work. car. Well, let's show them. You got some pictures of as found. Right. So let's show them those pictures real quick. And then why don't we show them, the, then we'll walk them around this thing and show them some of these awesome features about this Okay, thing. sounds good. dirty, crusty, just as found after 50 years of storage, but fortunately it was well stored. Yeah, yeah, and it was, and now I'm not sure that it was uh, always a heated garage, but it, 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 there was no problems, you know, there was no cracks in the block. Uh, it still had some fluids in it, but he started it up. It did leak a little bit of water from a gasket. We replaced that gasket, that fixed that. He got spark, he got fuel, it started drives, doesn't smoke, brakes work, steering is good and solid, and again, if it's only got 15,000 miles on it, you would expect it to be a pretty solid car. Right. But I, you know, I said before how original it was, but, but look at this. I mean, everything from the way this car works, even the fit, there's nothing that appears to be just worn out. Latches and hinges are usually worn out. It's not worn out, it's just old. I mean, I mean, it's, kind of crusty looking, but this is the way it has sat for over 50 years. We think it came into the United States in around 1970. We're not sure on that. We know it's history in England, um, but you can see even the original leather is there. Even the original carpet is there. Uh, you can see the shifter. Look at the wood on the dash even. Uh, the controls on the steering wheel, and they all work, and they all function, and all the instruments work. Um, even you can see the little fire extinguisher down there on the left that it's still there. But uh, everything on this car is just so correct, down to even all the little straight slot screws. Everything is just right. The, the semaphores, the turn signals on the side of the car. I mean, everything's there. You can tell this tonneau has probably been replaced. It's got a top. It folds right up and down perfectly. The top looked like it was probably replaced in the 50s or something. Uh, but all the mechanism works perfectly. Everything from the sun visors to the original little knobs that hold the top down, they're still just perfect and, you know, they work fine. The, the little rope handles on the doors to pull the doors shut. Nothing's been changed. Nothing's been touched or compromised on this car. Now on the finish, did you just clean this car up, right? <coughs> All we did was clean it up. My guys just, they spent a lot of time just hand rubbing and cleaning and shining. The wheels we had to redo and we put brand new tires on it because we wanted to drive it. They were flat and they were no good. But even look at, at the, the British way of doing things, the, the tag bracket and the, the backup light and the detail and the massive. I mean, this thing is huge when you look at just what they have for the tag mount to hold the tag to the car. That's a lot of, a lot of bracket. Yeah, and this car, and yeah, and it's old lacquer paint. It's black. I don't know if it was the original paint. We see no signs of any other color. It may have been repainted at some time in its life, but it's old cracked lacquer that needs to be totally redone. But uh, the spare is still on it. The see if I can get the trunk opened here. And when you open the trunk, we even found the tools in it, even the wrench for taking the wheels off, uh, original hammer, the pack pouch that it was in. Uh, and it's interesting, you put your gas in right here, 
when you open the trunk, but you can lock the little door from the inside. So you can either put gas in from here, but you have to have the key or you can open the trunk and put it in. Uh, and there's some more tools in there. There's another jack in there that's still there. And of course, there's no rust in this car. This car is Body is all aluminum. Fenders are aluminum. Body's aluminum. So, of course, nothing's rusted out. And, um, you know, the chassis is beautiful underneath. Exhaust system is rusted out back half, but that would be expected even on a late model car. Uh, gives it a really good sound. Even the rubber on the running boards looks good. It's not perfect, but it's just really, really nice. Uh, I'm just thrilled to death, all the way down to the original windshield wipers. I mean, the window squirters, the, the headlights, everything is just so nice and so correct. You know, it's, it, it's almost a shame to restore the car, but really a paint job in an interior without restoring the car gives you a whole lot of car. Um, the, I thought it was intriguing, like the Bentley hood ornament with the B. Well, when you open the hood, you have to turn the hood ornament to the side to be able to open the hood. But I think that's absolutely beautiful and unique. In the hood, you just lay it over and it sits on those spots there so you don't mess your hood up. The car is just absolutely complete and incredible. And we're going to sell it. We're going to take it to the Barry Jackson auction in Florida, I think in Palm Springs, Florida, in about two to three weeks from now. Yeah, so, coming up middle of April. So, so we're gonna run it through and you know, Barry Jackson, it's a no reserve auction. So somebody is gonna take this car home and there's a lot of Bentley guys out there and uh, they'll give it a new home and do something with them. And I've looked at the values of these cars. I think they're undervalued. You know, they're for to be such a gorgeous, unique design. Apparently 150 of this particular drop head coupe, uh, four and a quarter liter. Um, I think it's called a Derby body and 150 of this one was built to me this car should you know join the ranks of other cars like some of the Mercedes that are up there a half a million million two million dollars you know this car is probably more like you know $150,000 $200,000 car but when it goes no reserve at an auction you know you don't know it's gonna sell you don't know what's gonna happen whether you win or you lose yeah, it's gonna sell it's gonna sell and it's going to find a new home and whoever gets it is going to get an absolutely incredible car with all its history all its details all its previous owners everything about this car and then a car that was built in 1936 we're getting almost 100 years old pushing it yeah and it's got 15,000 miles on it yeah i mean you're going to find one of those in a barn 10 miles from you know <laughs> your own home but we did there it is and uh, we're anxious to see what it does at auction and hopefully it'll find a new home and um, and will either be restored or just preserved like it is and driven and having uh, this car could be enjoyed the way it is the just way it is yeah. and, and and be super cool and a ton of fun yeah now what you thing, know what I would do you know, what's that side point. I put wide white walls on <laughs> I like wide white yeah. walls but most of these cars just had black walls and people like the black walls but I like wide white walls I do that and, and there again, you know, the new owner is going to have different ideas and they can do whatever they want with it. But like I said, there's, there'd be absolutely no shame in enjoying this car the way it is. No, no. And driving good, the way it feels and sounds right now, it's pretty incredible. So. Now, we did a video where we've got the car running and everything, but there's a couple things we ought to show them under the hood as far as the originality, because that's what we're talking about here with the crank handle and everything still being here under yeah. the hood of this thing. Yeah, which, which is mean, cool. And so you can see right here in front. It says Bentley on the front of it. It's got a B on the front of it, and it's got a little door on the front and back of it, which is like, well, who goes to that much trouble? So you open up that little door, and you open up this little door. You can stick your crank all the way through in the radiator, and if you got a dead battery, you can crank start it, which I would, wouldn't think that would be too so we, easy to we do. Turn, do we turn the hood ornament? Yeah, the hood, yeah, hood ornament turns. That little thing... Down there with the same Bentley on it. Turn, go ahead and flip it for me. Okay. And then. So we don't don't want to break it off. <laughs> don't want to break it off. And then the engine compartment is kind of a little seedy looking, like you would think it would be sitting for over 50 years. 
But with the Bentley, with all the tags, with all the original tags, look, even the jack <coughs> still there. Here's the crank. It snaps in place right here. You can pull the, I think it'd snap out. And then there's the other piece to it down there, if still you, in you, the exact right. original clips. And so everything's there if you needed to crank start it. You can see the, the the Bentley emblem everywhere. We've to get it to start, we put uh, uh, some modern cables and stuff on it to get it to run and start. Uh, we would change that all out once it's all totally sorted out. But uh, and what I thought was unique is that doesn't have a mechanical fuel pump. All the Auburn Concords do, and this has an electric factory electric fuel pump. We haven't tested it to see if it works yet, uh, but it, pro it should. Let me show you that on the other side. Let's set this back here. And we'll, we'll start it up here in a second and we'll back it out. And, you, and literally this morning the car started for the first time and backed out and back in for the first time in over 50 years. So you're seeing this all just as it's happened. Uh, but when I opened the hood the first time, I was amazed. Even like the quality of craftsmanship, like the louvers on the hood. Okay, Auburn's cords, they had louvers on the hood. He's got a double louver. They got one on the inside, one on the outside. <laughs> Why would they go to that much trouble? But that's the way they did it. Very, very high quality. Air cleaners are always missing. Look, it's perfect. It's original. It all works. It goes on and off. It, uh, the SU carburetors, you know, all they needed to be was clean. The dual coils, but it only runs on one coil. One is just uh, an extra in case you have problems. The original horn is there. Um, just, you know, it's its original radiator, all the clamps, the screws, the bolts. Uh, look at this fancy electric system for the fuel pump. It's like, I don't even know how it works. It's like, and there's no mechanical pump on it. That's just what they, the way they did it. Uh, but, yeah, an, inc an incredible, an incredible original machine that just sat away all these years. Well, why don't we fire it up and go back it out in the driveway? Okay, let's do it.